All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapaya from GMS Chicago coming at you again with another quick little lesson through the Spirit. This is Psalms 26, verse 1. Judge me, O Yahweh, for I have walked in my integ in integrity and have trusted also in Yahweh. Therefore, I should not slide. All right? And what does King David tell him the Lord do? Judge me. Examine me. All right? Make sure I got a clean spirit inside me. Just like he said in Psalms 51. All right? Purge me with hyssop. Right? All right? He said, I have walked in integrity. All right, and I have trust in the Lord. I, therefore, I should not slide. All right, and when you read, read with Second Timothy, the Lord said, if you do these things, you should never uh, f uh, fall. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get it. All right, so this is Second Peter chapter 1, and when you start at like verse 5, it, it, it tells you, you know, certain things you need to have, like diligence, virtue, virtue, knowledge, so on and so forth. But I'm going to go straight to the point, verse 10, all right? Wherefore, of the rather, brethren, give diligent to make thy calling and election sure. For if you do these things, all right, these things that I just said, he should never fall. All right, and same thing uh, King David just said here. I have trusted in Yahweh, therefore I will not slide. Okay? So when you trust in the Lord, you follow the things he, he, uh, he tells you to do. Uh, verse 2, examine me, O uh, Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins of my heart. All right? Matter of fact, I got to. I got to get this. Come on, come on. So back to this, because he said, prove me, right? So I'm going to jump around to Psalms 51. Psalms 51 and 2. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. All right? For I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before thee. Against thee, the only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Because what did he tell him in uh, the 26th chapter? Judge me, Lord, prove me. All right? And that's what the Lord is doing to all of us, man. All right? Because we want to be perfect. We want to be blameless in the eyesight of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desireth truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. So in your heart, all right, your, your, your mind is going to desire this wisdom, and the Lord is going to uh, give it to you, right? Now, what, what does David ask? Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken, may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot on my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit in me. So there he go. Examine me. Prove me. You know? It says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with a free uh, spirit. All right? And, you know, this whole chapter is actually good, honestly. But back to uh, verse 26. Uh, verse 3. For thy loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. There you, hey, there it goes. That goes back to verse 1. I have trusted in the Lord. How do you trust in the Lord? You walk in the truth. You follow uh, 
Hey, like Baruch said, this is the book of the commandments of life. All that uh, keep it um, should come to uh, everlasting life. Uh, Baruch, the fourth chapter, I, I, I butcher it. Salakia. Um, but back to verse four on this. I have not sat with the vain persons, neither will I go with the dis, uh, dissemblers. All right. Which, like the scripture says, uh, Shit, if you don't gather with me, you scatter abroad. David said he didn't sit down with people like that. He ain't, shit, he didn't get down with vain persons. All right? Because you can't be around that nigga shit too long, man. It's going to agitate you. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. All right? Now, uh, well, you know, should I sit with publicans and sinners? Hey, uh, somebody who's healed don't need a physician. All right? We was all fucked up. Yahweh Shai came to heal us, man. All right? So that's not a contradiction right there, man. And even amongst us, sometimes, hey, we hey, we use the world and not abuse it, man. All right? But we're not getting down. All right? We're not in bed with these wicked-ass people as in as far as getting down and doing the same shit they doing. All right? Verse 6, I will wash my, wash my hands in innocency, innocency, innocency so I will compass the altar of Yahweh, all right? Because you have to be clean, man, especially when you come to the altar of the Lord because we're presenting ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, and every time we go out there and preach, it's a spiritual altar, all right? Verse 7, that I may publish the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works, which, hey, that's what we do as prophets. We publish the works of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We go out and preach and give thanksgiving and a good tidings to the people. Verse 8. Yahweh, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place wherein thy honor dwelleth. Gather not my <laughs> gather not my soul with, soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. Because when the Lord gathers uh, those men of, uh, of sinners and those bloody men, they're going into the lake of fire. So, shit, we don't want to be a part of that judgment, man. We, we don't want to be gathered with them, all right? It says, in, uh, in whose hand is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. That's Esau all day. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in the even place in the congregation, will I bless Yahweh. And, and that's what we do amongst the congregation. We bless Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. All right? So with that, yeah, I pray this is edifying. I like to say all praises on the glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Makar Kadash. Double honor to the other apostles of great millstone and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abide the ball.